Hey guys, Mass here, and um, I'm here to to I, I've never done a tutorial before, so this is the first tutorial I've ever done on my on my channel. However, I discovered something that was very interesting for Daisy, um, and I wanted to share it because I have I have a lot of friends that are complaining about the way the game is right now, because you can't modify keys and you can't do key binds anymore. In this current stage in Daisy, this is probably going to be outdated. But for now, I can. Um, there are two things. I know how to modify keys now, and I know how to essentially bring back the way that the game used to feel in 0 0.62, which was the previous patch before Daisy went into beta. So that may not be out of date, right? So. Uh, or it might, I don't know. It depends on what they do with the keybind system later on. But for now, I'm going to teach you how to bring back the way Daisy used to feel before this patch. Now, I love the way it feels in this patch, but I'm used to the way it used to feel. So I want it to be the way I remember it, which is a toggle to aim down sight. and uh, Or not, not to aim down sight. It's a toggle to aim down the... Um, or to, to raise your weapon and so what I have is I have there are two tweaks that I'm gonna show you and one of them involves using auto hotkey and what that basically does is it takes it and makes the key that you bind here in your settings which is your you know your your this PC documents daisy what you wanna edit is this one which is your uh, preset user XML file and I recommend opening it with Notepad++ if you have it downloaded. You can do it without it, but I wouldn't advise it because it's all jumbled. It's a giant mess. So what I've discovered is, or not discovered, but I've found out. I, I guess that means discovered. I don't, I don't know. Um, what I've discovered, sorry, is you can change these, all these keys here, to do different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find raise your weapon which is uh it's like temporary raise weapon or something and where are you temp raise weapon right here so what i've got it currently bound to is mouse button four so you can do this with mouse button four five six all of them as you want and they are labeled as mb4 make sure you got the capitalization right it looks it's just right there that's what it looks like now now what i'm going to do is um I'm going to switch it and make it space because space is the way it used to be. It used to be defaulted to space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jump and put it to V. So I got to find space first. Space. Yeah, see K space. Uh, and that's build select toggle. Okay, I got to find, uh, I think it's called get over. Yeah, UA get over. K space. So I'm going to change that and make it V. So, ah, oh, damn it. My file is uh, labeled as read only. Apply that. Now I can edit it. K V. So that's what that is now. Now I need to go back to raise weapon. And I'll make it K space. There. Now I could I recommend messing with it and doing uh, and like messing messing with it and changing it up and uh, making it how you want it so that you play better. But that's how I have it. I'm gonna change it to that, and that's all I need. So I'm gonna save it. Now you can do this with anything. And a fun tip, or a a tip for doing this with every single keybind, or doing it with just the keybind you want. If it is a key on your keyboard, you want to start it with a K. If it is a mouse, if it's like the mouse up, mouse down, mouse wheel down, mouse wheel up, you want it to be M wheel down, M up, you get the idea. Now if it's a mouse button, you want it to be MB. So MB right click or whatever. Uh, it's up here somewhere. So um, it's MB4, MB5, MB6 for all of the mouse, uh, the like the, the thumb buttons or whatever. So that's how you do that. But anyhow, I'm done with that. So now what I want to do is I want to, uh, how this works right now is 
whenever you have your your gun raised, it's going to be a hold. Now, what the next step is to make it a toggle so that it mimics the way that it used to work in the 0 0.62 patch. So what we're doing now is we're going to make an auto hotkey switch. And I already have it, and I'll put it in the description. So what you basically do is you take this code right here. And, for example, I had it on my mouse button. Now, because auto hotkey runs in a different type of uh, thing, I guess is the right word, uh, <laughs> different scripting language, I guess. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but the mouse buttons on auto hotkey are labeled as X buttons. So, uh, mouse button four is X button one, for example. But uh, I'm not using X buttons anymore, aka mouse buttons. I'm switching it over to space. So I'm just gonna call it space and basically what this does this script here it transfers it and makes it a uh, it makes the hold a toggle okay so send space up send space down all you gotta do is just met just just uh, change the space and that's all you really need to do on this script you just make it so that it says space or whatever key that you want it to to be. So if you want to change it to G, for example, you just want to control F space and then uh, replace it with whatever key you want it to be. And now I'm just going to save this. And then close it. And I will launch Daisy up on windowed mode here. And then I'll launch the auto hotkey script I just made. And we will make it. Oh no, that's toggle raise weapon, which is what I've got it called. Now I'm just going to do this. And whenever I'll see you in game, basically, I'll see you in game. And you'll be able to see that it works. So um, I just finished making the video, uploading it and everything. Or not uploading it, but I, I finished rendering it and everything. And I forgot that I left out a crucial point or a crucial part of this whole process which is take unbinding the middle mouse button to aim down sight and zoom and binding those to the right mouse button so that whenever you hold down the right the right mouse button your character will zoom like he does in 0 0.62 aka before the patch so i figured you know uh, that's kind of important and people are going to be like questioning that in the description or the comment section so I decided, you know, um, instead of just uh, making a, a half-ass video, I'd f go in and, and re-render it and, f and and add this in so that you know um, what to do. So as you can see, zoom in, right. So as you can see, zoom in would normally be middle mouse button down or something. And zoom in is right here. Now, what you want to change it to is mouse button right. So that's M, lowercase, capital B, capital R, and then I. So, M bright. Or, yeah, M bright. And that will uh, basically make it so that your right mouse button zooms you in like it used to be. And now, because of the functionality of the middle mouse button and the whole what that does, I guess, um, it will make it so that right mouse button is also ADS whenever you've got your gun raised. So with the config I made, you hit space, you hold the right mouse button, and you aim. It toggles the ADS just like it used to be before. And that's how that works. And UAA aim down. I, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what the hell that is. Because that... Oh! Duh! That's just aim down. It's like you scroll. Okay, never mind. Forget about that. That was. Anyway, that is not important. So, and while I'm at it, since I, I was all like blah, 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 you got to go and do something else. Make sure that your shift key or your, uh, it's ADS, I believe, just UAADS toggle, just uh, bind it to something else because that'll completely screw up. Because whenever you hit space to raise your weapon and then you hit shift to sprint or whatever, you'll aim down sight and you don't want to aim down sight unintentionally. 
you don't really want to do anything unintentionally, so I, I just bound that to K because I'm not going to be hitting K very often. So just change that to something else. I don't know if leaving it blank will break it or anything, so I would recommend just changing it to a key you're not going to use and then saving it, and then you should be good. You won't have that weird-ass hold shift to aim down sight bug thing that you will see in the next clip. Anyway, so I'm going to go and uh, re-render all this out. And The clip you're about to see is actually after I decided to go back and do this. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm in game. I'm not like I've just got it set to like a um a ba a very basic thing. Holy shit! I mean, I joined a PvP server just because I wanted to get in and and show you really quickly how it works. But essentially, how it works is I need to unbind shift. I need to unbind shift. But basically, as you can see, all my shit's on a toggle now. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that guy got me. However, it works, and it works flawlessly. Well, it doesn't work flawlessly. That's my fault, though, because I didn't unbind aim down sight to shift, which is a default key. So you'd want to take ADS off of shift so that it doesn't aim down your sight whenever you want to sprint. And that can be easily fixed. That You just want to go back in the config and find where the aim down sight key is and just remove shift from it. And whenever you do that, then it's essentially the way that the game uh, used to be before 0 0.63. So, if you watch my videos normally, you'll know you don't make tutorials, Aaron. What are you doing? Mass, don't make, but you don't make tutorials. Now, this is true. I don't make tutorials. However, I, there are like nothing, no videos on this, and I discovered it myself because it was really bugging me. So, I wanted, I wanted people to know that you can do this it's possible and it's fairly easy so there's no harm in it right so uh, if, you know if you like the video and if uh, this tutorial helped you I mean you don't have to make it the way it used to be you can just use it to you know change your keybinds into whatever you want it to be but if you uh, you know you just uh, if it helped you out in any way at all um, consider subscribing and uh, sharing my channel and stuff because I'm going to be making a bunch of Daisy videos again like I used to back in the day. So uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching.